The V01DFC here, just doing an update video on my tractor. Or try to anyway, I know it's a bit windy. I replaced the drive belt. This is the old drive belt here. It's uh, pretty shot. It kept on uh, slipping off, the pulleys wouldn't stay on. Plus, I don't think it's the right size. I don't think it's the right size anyway. Or it's probably stretched. So I had to get a new belt. So the belt that I got for it, uh, it well, the buddy, the, the old man that owned it said that it had an A V belt, which was 88 inches long. But I never knew that V belts have two measurements. They got an inside measurement and an outside measurement. So the outside measurement got to be 88 inches and the inside got to be 86 inches. That's what I was told that goes on this tractor. But uh, yeah, so I picked up an 88 inch belt. It's measured on the inside. That's how the belts, most belts are, me are measured. So I got the belt and it was too big. So I brought that back and all they had was a 87. So it's an inch too big. But there was no other belt that I could get. And buddy said that I could have the belt that I could have the belt for about ten bucks. So I bought it and I put it on. And uh, on very hot days, some, sometimes it pops off, sometimes it uh, stays on. Uh, still needs to still needs to be tightened up. Uh, the problem that I have is that when I apply the brake, uh, things adjusted too far. So when I apply the brake all the way on. The belt gets too much uh, slack and it falls off. So what I got to do, I got to adjust the tension so that I can put my brake on before the belt falls off. And then I'll be able to stick with the belt that I got. But uh, I did a lot of work on this uh, since my last video. Uh, I think my last video I mentioned about paint, painting the tires or the rims. So I uh, rock guarded all the underneath of the tractor and uh, all the, the rough stuff like that where I put my feet and all that and I got the back back all painted reason why it looks all funny reason why it looks all funny like that because I'm using two different kinds of rock guard one is paintable and one is not and it was still wet and anyway yeah so that's how it turned out but that's it and I put $25 worth of uh, gas into it and I only got it half full. $25 will only fill this uh, lawn tractor or garden tractor half full which surprised me. I actually drove it up to the, uh, the service station to put gas in it. I should have had the video camera because then I would have did a romp but uh, anyway uh, what are, okay yeah the updates yeah you're saying updates updates what do you do with it what do you do with it but I'll tell you what I do with it now one thing you will notice, you will notice this button here. Uh, this switch is shot. Uh, you turn it on, I got power to the uh, accessories, and I got power to the solenoid, but when I go to turn over the solenoid, there's no power getting to the low voltage wire to the solenoid, which is which is that wire, I don't know if you can see it, which is that wire right, th right there. So, I clean up the solenoid. Well, first I bought a new solenoid, thinking it was the solenoid, but it wasn't a solenoid. So I cleaned up the old one, put it back in, and I said, what if I go and put a positive wire from the, from the battery, which is underneath here, battery's underneath, underneath this thing here. So I put a positive wire from the positive terminal onto the positive on my uh, oh god I'm not forget the name of this thing you know what is it? It's a uh, solenoid yes 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 anyway so I put on, on the solenoid. So if you don't have the key it will still crank over But it will not start because you still got to have the key in to start it. So 
yeah but uh, that bit of work that was done on the steering that like I said before that was done when I got it a little bit missed a spot in there she's a bit rusty she's a bit rusty there anyway I don't fix that uh, never did much with the engine because I was told the engine was rebuilt last year so that's about it with that and like I said there's the new there's the new push so turn put the key in turn the key power is going to the engine and it's going to the starter to go and put the power to the solenoid I push this start button here and it starts shut it off I turn the key off comes out simple easy fix why didn't I think of that a couple of weeks ago before I burnt up all, all my wiring harness anyway that's another story and I eliminated all the other pressure switches like for the switch uh, for the seat for the brake uh, ones for the your attachments and uh, another one's for the for the gear shift has to be neutral now. I cut all those off because uh, I mean it's only a garden tractor so I mean you know I'm gonna be the only one using it so I'm not too worried about safety so yeah so I would like to do a video of it running and I know a lot of you will say well yeah yeah so yeah this and that this and that does it run yes it runs but I don't know how good I can do this I'm gonna I'm gonna try to attempt if I don't drive through the fence or if I don't run into something, I'm going to go and uh, drive with this around. So I'm going to try now. Might help if I go and get the key. That might help. Might help if I can get the key. Seven minutes into the video. There's Mr. Key. Put Mr. Key in. See? Power. But there's no power going to the solenoid. But that's no problem. Put my foot on the clutch. Make sure it's in neutral. In neutral. And contact. It's a little rough.
of junk there we go so that's your little update on my tractor and my little mini 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 romp but uh, yeah I know should have put the handbrake on I know I know and I should have put it in gear in gear now it's not gonna go anywhere so yep anyway there she is a 19 something 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 whatever craftsman Sears tracker and she needs a wheel alignment I think she needs a wheel alignment or is that just the way it's sitting I don't know anyway please rate and subscribe all comments are welcome until next time catch you around